curriculum for MBBS course will be practical based learning. So could you please explain us that how we are following that in MCI in Nepal? We have now 32 DMMCS faculties in our hospital that none of the hospital in Nepal are. So in that case, this is the biggest hospital yes. in Nepal. We are teaching DMMCS level program in nine different specialties. Let's suppose somebody is giving Nepal Medical Council exam. Sir. How does that help the student to get a license to practice? And we have our own cancer hospital and we have more than 900 OPD per day. It is more like you are studying in India. Uh, Stone Medical College is only one uh, UGC approved uh, medical college in Nepal. Hello everyone and welcome to Clickcast. This is our new episode and uh, today we are having uh, a solution for all those parents who are not willing to uh, send their child for medicine abroad to uh, countries which are far from India. Uh, today we have an institute from Nepal, uh, one of the fastest growing institutes in last uh, 16 years they have been recognized as number one institute in Nepal. Uh, they have UG, PG and super specialization, all category of uh, seats at their college and they are just 200 kilometers away uh, from India, from Gorakhpur, UP. So today uh, we have with us uh, Mr. Arun Koilala, who is the Deputy Director of Chitwan Medical College, Nepal. Uh, how are you sir? Uh, thank you Dr. Subham for providing this opportunity uh, to be in India and uh, have a uh, program with you. And I would like to especially uh, thank to uh, Reporters TV uh, for providing this opportunity to speak in India. Uh, I am very good, uh, thank you uh, and thank you for inviting me in this uh, educational expo from the Nepal and uh, put our things about Nepal uh, in your program. Sir, uh, tell me one thing, it's been 3-4 days we are travelling together, how do you like the students in Kerala? Yeah, actually, uh, I had been uh, hearing that the literacy rate in Kerala was uh, more than 95%. So, my interest was uh, to uh, get the student from Kerala in Nepal. Uh, as we are always focusing on the quality, so there was my interest and this opportunity is provided by you uh, in this expo. So, sir, tell, tell us one thing, do you, do you have any students from uh, uh, Kerala right now at your institution? Uh, right now, not from Kerala, but we have students from the south. And uh, we have many students studying in Nepal from uh, India. From India, okay. So Nepal actually, uh, I have heard in such way, like students from Nepal, yes. uh, they are easily qualify, qualifying the FMG examination even without any special coaching. Uh, and when I was talking to the doctors from Nepal, they were telling, the reason behind this is, uh, the exam system, system in Nepal is the same like what we are having in India. Mm. So it's kind of very strict from the very first year. So they have to uh, have the proper basics uh, or like deep knowledge of the subject then only they are passing the exams there. So that's why uh, the results are coming in India also for the Nepal doctors, right? Yeah, uh, th thank you sir. Uh, actually in Nepal and India, they are the neighboring country and the curriculum are almost same. And the curriculum for MBBS course will be practical based learning means they will be familiar with the uh, uh, courses and they will be going to the field clinically means going to the patient clinically they are going to the remote areas and studying their curriculum so that they can understand their level only they do not have the theory knowledge but they will have the practical knowledge which is effective for their uh, life in while in widely practicing in clinical life so that it's easier to crack the exams right. because when you study theory only you may uh, forget the things but when the things are done clinically in a lab or in a uh, areas uh, patient areas or in healthcare then they can catch up very easily and that can be uh, remembered forever so that is a student, student uh, as you see uh, from Chitwan Medical College uh, in Nepal Medical Council when they give it's more than 95% students are uh, passing in one attempt and even the uh, PLAB they are passing, USMLE they are passing and FMG exam they are passing almost more than 95% are passing in a single attempt from that's our very medical good, college. Sir, that's very good. Uh, sir, what about hospital facilities like in India, majority of colleges uh, they are they're having their own hospitals. So, do you guys have the, your own hospital or you are having tie-ups with other hospitals? Thank you for the question. Actually, I would like to tell you that uh, Chitwan Medical College is affiliated to Trivon University and it is, uh, our regulatory bodies are Ministry of Health and Education, so uh, the Nepal Medical Council and Chitwan Medical College is the only one hospital which is now approved. We are running 750 bed, but it has been approved by the government uh, for 500 bed. None of the hospital in Nepal has been accredited for 500 bed by Ministry of Health. So in that case, this is the biggest uh, yes. hospital yes. in Nepal? Yes, we, we, we claim that we, we are the means, uh, biggest in terms of government approval seats. Okay, okay. 
So this this is a this is not a government hospital, but this is the hospital of Chitwan Medical College, which is approved by the government. Yes. With five hundred bed, beds. Five hundred bed. Yes. Okay, that's great. That's great. And and what about uh, the uh, quality of uh, professors? Like what what kind of professors are teaching to students? Those who are coming from foreign nations. Sir, uh, uh, thank you, uh, thank you. Uh, first of all, I would like to highlight about our the programs. What we are running. Okay. See, in Chitwan Medical College, it was established in two thousand six, and we are currently running um, uh, eight bachelor level programs. And after bachelor level program, the student destination is not only the MBBS degree. After that also, they have to study. You know, now we are hearing uh, surgeons, orthopedic surgeon, gynecologists, and for MDMS program, and we have the Master of Nursing program, we have Master of Public Health. Such specialty program we have in twenty nine different specialties, mm. and even that of after that also masters also uh, the student are now um, doctors have to do some specialization. Uh, so as we have called cardiologist, neurosurgeon, urologist. And we are teaching DMMS level program in nine different specialties. Oh, that's good. So that means we have and we are the biggest center, and uh, we have now 32 DMMS faculties in our hospital that none of the hospital in Nepal are having. So then, in that case, you are like one of the best. Yes. In so, in the students can take admission in the PG programs also. Uh, now, now it is uh, they can take, but uh, they can study and seats are allocated. But uh, the Indian Medical Council has still not approved the program, so so if, uh, they are the student have not admitted in uh, this program. Okay, sir, I, I have a, a very specific question regarding the LMC guidelines. Yes. So, in uh, Nepal Medical Council says that the degree is four and a half years, and yes. one year is the internship. Yes. So, apart from this, there are other two guidelines, which is regarding 12 month rotatory internship and then there is license to practice. So could you please explain us that how we are following that NMC guidelines in Nepal? So see the MBBS course of uh, 4.5 years is divided into three phases. I'd like to elaborate you. The first year and second year are the basic science where you study seven subjects. Mm -hmm. There will be anatomy, physiology, uh, microbiology, um, pathology, biochemistry and uh, pharmacology and uh, community medicine. So the, these these first uh, seven subjects are studied in first year and second year. These are and students have to cross the first phase to go to the second phase. Mm -hmm. Without without passing the first phase, students are not eligible to go to right. the second phase. So that as you have previously asked the question of how they are cracking the exams, mm -hmm. means the first and second year if they pass, yeah, they have to work hard for these basic sciences. They will go to the lab, anatomy lab. They will study with the cadavers. They will go to the pathology labs. They will study with the different slides and. They are successful on that part, and the uh, second phase is considered as a third year, mm -hmm. in which they study again the community medicine, this is diagnosis and uh, forensic medicine, and the fourth year and final year are for other clinical subjects. So after this, uh, passing the four and five years course, they will be having an internship course, one year rotatory internship. In the major subject, they will have uh, up to three months. And in the minor subject, up to 15 days. Suppose if a major subject are uh, internal medicine, surgery, they will be having the posting two to three months. Mm -hmm. And uh, suppose in the small department such as uh, psychiatry, dermatology, family planning, they will be having the internship for uh, approximate 15 days. Okay. So that and after they start, after their results are out for 4.5 years, they will have an internship. And once they complete the six month internship, it is not mandatory. Key. They have to give the uh, NMC exam after one year of completion. Mm -hmm. After six months of internship, they are eligible for Nepal mm -hmm. Medical Council exam, so that it will be easier for them. Mm -hmm. So once, uh, so let's suppose somebody is giving the Nepal Medical Council exam, sir. Yes. How does that help the student to get a license to practice? For, for Nepalese student, uh, they will do it. For Indian student, also it is valid for one year. Mm -hmm. And uh, once they uh, complete the NMC from there, they have to give the FMG in India. Mm -hmm. Then after they are registered in FMG. They can work there, uh, and but the thing is that they have to renew their certificate every year. Mm. They will not get the permanent certificate. Okay. okay. Because okay. many of the faculties are working uh, as a after their post graduation degree. Many of the faculties are working in Nepal. Nepal. Okay. As, a, as, a, as a professor, as a assistant professor, they, many of the. So they get the registration, but it is not a permanent registration. Yeah. They have to renew Nepalese, it every year. Nepalese doctor will get the permanent registration, but the foreign will have to renew every, every year. year. Okay. Apart from India, sir, how, like from what other parts of the world uh, students are coming to Nepal now? Uh, now the center, uh, very few students are, and uh, in Nepal, uh, NRN quota are there, so the NRN students are coming. Uh, apart from that, some students from Sri Lanka are coming, uh, not from much other parties. Okay. Okay. And what about the learning environment? So, okay, the students came to Nepal, they have came to Chitwan Medical College. What would be their learning environment? So, there would be classes, there would be some games. How, how do you develop that part? Sir, uh, uh, if you talk about uh, Chitwan Medical College, we are we are spreading in about 13, 13.44 uh, acre land. 
which it's a wide wide yeah. area so that the student can study in a free peace environment mm -hmm. there is there is a less traffic area um, so that uh, so a reading learning environment is very good there okay and the each and every facilities are there because the hostel is inside the uh, college premises so that the student can go to the library till 11 uh, in the night and then they can study and we have all the full time teachers okay because see, some in some of the college there might be a part time teacher mm. so that uh, if student uh, as a being a um, full time the facility will be that when they don't understand in the class mm, that is true. they can they can go to the teacher they can ask on the same day so that they can they can understand it oh, that's true sir uh, tell me one more thing like why chitwan medical college is better than other medical colleges of nepal so see, uh, as we have discussed, Chitwan Medical College, we uh, claim as better than other colleges because we have all the services and facilities. Uh, we are a seven, we are running 750 beds and we have more than 150 uh, critical care mm -hmm. beds. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we have a bachelor level, master level and DMMSS level program, student can get a more clinical exposure. And we have our own cancer mm -hmm. hospital and we have more than 900 OPD per day. Every day. So yeah. that the MBBS student needs more and more uh, clinical exposure mm. so that uh, they, they can understand what are the disease diabetes how how they diagnose the disease um, how, how so they get hands-on practice yeah, like yeah. to more more than 900 patients every day every day they, 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 they will be um, discussing with the more and more patients mm -hmm. so they will gain more knowledge okay. so i think this is also one of the similarity <coughs> between the india and nepal yes. That majority of uh, people they come to big medical colleges for their treatment, yes. and that is why the OPD is always more where the uh, hospitals are associated with colleges. So this this thing is also very unique in Nepal. Right? We have the a, a great uh, lab accreditation okay. uh, from uh, lab, and we are the IUS certified hospital. Okay. And I would like to also inform you that uh, Chitwan Medical College is only one uh, UGC approved uh, medical college in Nepal. Today. UGC you mean to the university? University can't approved. No, no, it, ah. it, it, it is in Nepal also. Okay. Like in India, Nepal also they, it, they have UGC. Okay. So it is UGC approved uh, medical college. All right. okay. Sir, uh, how do you uh, like uh, if if you would like to welcome all the view viewers to your college? How would you welcome that? Uh, I would like to welcome all students to our Chitwan Medical College. Uh, we would like to income, uh, welcome. You can come via uh, Kathmandu. It's a 20 minute flight from Kathmandu to Chitwan. Uh, Chitwan it is the uh, largest uh, national park area in uh, okay. Nepal. So if you come by road, then you can come via uh, Gorakhpur. Uh, it's only 200 km from Gorakhpur and uh, 150 km from Roxul border. So that it is it easy access. And uh, if you go to Nepal, there will be no any language problem. Yeah, that's the, the, the language are similar so that you can ask to anybody so that they can, they will be answerable to so you. So every all Nepali citizens, they speak Hindi fluently, right? Yeah, they, 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 they understand and mm. they can reply to you. Okay. They, they almost can speak. Well, that's a great thing. That's a great thing. That's what it was like good insight from Nepal. Yes. This is the first time we are uh, And the major the thing is that students do not need any visa and uh, nothing. Anytime the parents can go to visit their student. Yeah, so basically when uh, when a student is traveling abroad, there are two or three challenges which they face. One is language, which is not there in Nepal. One is visa, visa extension, visa not there in Nepal. Not then there is an expense of flights, expense of travel. That is also ne not there when in Nepal. Private is used to so I'd I, I, I like to elaborate you that, see, uh, during the course of five, five to six years stay in Nepal, any child may be uh, sick any day. Yeah. If you are going to the third country, there is no visa for the parents. Yeah. yeah. That is true. Something may be happen at any time. But if in the context of Nepal, if your child is hospitalized, you can go the next day and this by next day. Yeah, that is true. That, that is, is true. that is the easy access, you know. Means um, the next thing is that the food are similar. Yeah. Basically, like, it is more like you are studying in India. Already. And the living living cost will be uh, yeah, lower on this part. Very, actually, yeah. it's more about you are in India only. It's just two hundred kilometers yeah. away. Yeah. You are having the same weather. Yes. You are having the uh, you are having uh, cheap. Uh, what do you call it? Living. Yeah, then you have same food, same kind of education, same also. kind of education, same kind of patient exposure. Patient exposure. As he said rightly, that 900 patients are coming okay. in OPDs every day. So this is uh, something which is every Indian uh, student who is uh, yeah. who wants to do MBBS is dreaming about. So I think that that is a very good insight which we got from you today. So today we had fun talking with uh, Mr. Koirala from Chitwan Medical College, and we got very deep insights about how uh, Nepal uh, medical education is something which indian students can opt we uh, going to nepal will uh, uh, going to nepal will ease your uh, so many problems you will not face a problem with fooding you will not fa face a problem with traveling anytime your parents can come no need of visa very near to india 
and also at the cost of other uh, medical abroad uh, education uh, medical abroad destinations so uh, it was a wonderful uh, talk with uh, mr koirala thanks for having uh, having us mr koirala and uh, stay tuned for our further episodes thank, thank you. you thank you for providing me this opportunity and exploring about medical college in nepal thank you thank you